Good evening, one and all. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> My name's Jack. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Tonight we have round three of eight in the RR League's WTCR Championship. Tonight we're racing around Zandvoort Grand Prix circuit in the Netherlands. Awesome beach circuit. Uh, right next to the seaside. Uh, lots of sand everywhere. Don't want to go off track because uh, there's sand everywhere. Victor, how's it going, man? Good to see you, dude. Thanks for stopping by. Much appreciato. Um, better jump myself into the pre-race briefing chat. Um, just to make sure that everything is fine and dandy. Um because the briefing is about to start in about six or seven minutes time. And our sigh, we'll go over the rules and regulations and give you a quick uh, roundup of uh, what's happened so far in the first two rounds of the championship. Uh, tonight we've got two races, <laughs> a sprint race and a longer feature race as well. Hey Anna, how's it going? Thanks for stopping by. Nice to have you here. Um, but first, I need to get that password in order to get into the server, so let's just hop on over there and get into said server. Should be a busy one tonight. 25 people in already. Uh, so my teammate and I, my teammate Daniel O'Brien, I'm driving in the Honda Civic. Here we go. We are going in. And we have had mixed slash bad results so far this season. Uh, the first race around the Hungaro Ring, and my teammate a DB couldn't make it. So I drove alone and in both sprint race and feature race punctures led to terrible results a dnf i think in the first race and like 20 something for something in the second race slightly better luck for me in uh in the second round hey jazz how's it going man thanks man 
Yeah, nice gentleman. Um, slightly better uh, result for me in the second round. Uh, we were racing around Slovakia ring two weeks ago. Uh, in the first race, um, I managed to qualify quite high actually, and in the first race I think I managed to finish P7 or 8 or so? Maybe even 6? Not sure. Um, so the reverse grid for the feature race um, saw me quite far near the, uh, the front of the grid, but I had a wobbly moment and my feature race soon came to an end as I went off track and couldn't rejoin safely so had to come back on at the back of the 36 car grid um, and I was fighting my way up I managed to make up a few positions I looked like I was going to get myself back into the sort of the top 20 of the field before I had another off track um, no punctures that time though last week so uh, last fortnight so I'm hoping to repeat with that tonight but um, it's going to be easier said than done, to be honest, because Zandvoort that we're racing around tonight... It is a tyre muncher, I tell you. It is a tyre muncher. Hope you're all doing well, guys, in chat. Thanks for joining in. Nice and early. Just going to make sure I am in the... Yeah, I'm in the race briefing chat. All good. It's very deadly silent in here. And my teammate Daniel O'Brien, he had mixed results as well uh, two weeks ago, which is his first race in the season. Where... A decent uh, first race for him saw so finish just outside of the top ten, I believe. And the second race, he managed to get himself uh, uh, quite high, medic, uh, quite high up. Um, and the second race, though, so he got himself a puncture, unfortunately. Uh, Slovakia first race, he scored a P6, buddy. Woohoo! So a P6 is my best uh, result so far. We will be joined by Daniel O'Brien after the pre-race briefing, which is going to start in about three or four minutes' time. Look at this aerial sight. I don't know what's going on with that background. It's actually quite an interesting sight. Let me see somebody else in the... Honda Civic leaving the pits. Let's just go. Let's find somebody on track. Let's watch this Honda Civic, actually. Why not? Who is this? Who are we watching here? Nuno Miguel Abril, I believe. So I'll watch him go around the track. A few times. And we'll switch up and check out some of the other drivers as well. While the briefing's going on. No, 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 just on his outlap at the minute, so letting the Peugeot through. So as you can see, Zandvoort covered in sand either side of the track, amongst the grass. An amazing circuit. Uh, soon to be new Formula One circuit as well. They are modifying the track as we speak. But look at all these beautiful banks. Loads of banked turns, undulating parts of the track. It's, uh, it's a roller coaster of a track. Um, definitely would be if somebody asked me to curate a top 10 uh, circuits. Uh, or my favorite circuits. It would definitely be in contention for that top 10 list. Not sure exactly where it would place, but it would definitely be in contention, that's for sure. It is an awesome track. As Nuno Miguel goes off, let's uh, jump on board with this Peugeot here. And perhaps with the Audi. Excellent trackside cameras around here in the race room. Switch to the action cam. Follow this Audi around. The Audi of Davidor, super strong competitor in most series that he races in. Not sure if he's had, he's had some, definitely had some good results in the WTCR, but I think he may have had a puncture or two also. So not just me who suffers the punctures, suspension damage and such, many others. But there was a massive race room update yesterday for those who don't know where 
the flat spots, tire wear, punctures, suspension damage uh, were apparently addressed or they were tweaked. So tonight will be a pretty good proving ground to see just how more lenient they've made it if they have at all. Um, as well with the update we've had some new liveries introduced. Oh, look at this. Amazing. <laughs> Unlucky, David. Um, new physics updates for a lot of the other class cars as well, some of the older ones. No flat cap, he'll be here soon enough, I'm sure. He will be along soon enough. Tiago flat cap. Let's watch this Cooper. It's a nice looking car as well. Let's watch a bunch of cars go around the track together. It's our very own Nigel Woods. It's a lots of people from the Paradigm Shift Race Club. Yeah. In tonight, so let's shoot in and listen to Sai for the driver briefing. Hopefully, everyone's found the password and is in the race server, not the practice server. Have we got any guests? Oh, Jamie, you're still waiting to get in, aren't you? Um, okay, we'll see what the numbers are like at the end of the briefing. Okay. Yeah, Victor, this is WTCR tonight. Uh, the last race you watched was a race club, a one-off event every month. Um, and the last time you saw it was three different classes. But tonight, just two races in the WTCR. I'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just going to make a pit stop of my very own while you guys listen to sign in the driver briefing. With less than 50% life remaining, the haphazard spawn onto the track at start of Super Bowl. And the lap invalidated bug start of the flight session all should be fixed. Uh, but do keep an eye on that valid lap when you start your, your qualifying lap just to make sure it's the time is ticking. And yet so hopefully we can all put all our concentration onto the race and we'll certainly need it as after all tonight. Most northerly video on the calendar, circuit so time four, sweeps through the sand dunes, sea coast down west of Amsterdam, 15 minutes, and welcome to 110,000 fans for the first of the UTCR race in Netherlands last night. And the circuit to the 17th, 2018, and on to home to the Dutch Grand Prix, which will make a return this year. Sandbox routes go back to 1939 with the sea coast. Catalyst for a major investment to the permanent track with construction beginning following World War II. We expect the racing to be fair out there, we want it to be close and enjoyable and hard fought, but when people start getting punted off, the fun dies rapidly. So let's have respect all through the field and make sure we're not pushing too hard and causing unnecessary incidents. There's a better feeling to be had at the end of a hard race mistakes and finishing further up the field having raced on fair. Okay then moving on. Um, unfortunately there's no commentary on the race tonight. And Miguel is a little under the weather so we sit this one out. Greg has kindly offered to board the race uh, in spectator mode though so set one back on should you want to. Uh, Service setup then briefly uh, flight points are set to visual only contract penalties drive yeah. through damage is set to full off. Mandatory pit stop, record prevention, fixed setups, all also off. Tyres at times two, fuel at times one. We'll find set for a rolling start, more on that later. Uh, the races will be from a standing start, Fudge. a race featuring a top 10 reverse grid, meaning the top 10 oh. finishes of race one will be reversed pretty good. Four, and front of the grid for race two. In game text chat is strictly prohibited. For Let's go, Tiago. Good luck, man. All the best to you. And to Jazz. Um, pit lane. And everybody else uh, is racing tonight as well. Speed limit here is 
60 kilometers per hour, I believe. Uh, entry is a little, little tricky, certainly needs some practice so you don't kill your car in the tie barrier. Uh, relatively short pit lane, remember that there's no contact while it's the pit lane, so um, you can double stack in the pit stall if needs be. Thanks, dude. Oh, you're not racing thanks tonight, to Jazz? Speak forward. It's a shame not to have you, dude. Just a line into turn one to a well, thanks very much for joining the stream, man. Really appreciate it. Qualifying then, so that we're turn, man. This series using the pole format. And that means qualifying session will be three minutes in duration. So Get ourselves a little on board here. Flying lap. Three minutes starts as soon as this server rolls into the qualifying session. Uh, you can at any point hit escape to restart your lap if you think there's time. Drivers who fail to post lap time will start at the back of the grid. And remember that What's up, uh, Crim Channing? points are available. How's it going, man? As I said, hopefully no books to deal with. Um, I see, Jazz, I see. No worries, but You will be missed, though. On to the race this end. Race 1 is for 22 minutes. Race 2 is for 47 minutes. Points awarded for all finishers, so I advise you to keep going and finish the race. Uh, lap 1 caution. Tough lap here with Zandy. It's tight, uh, with hairpins and chicanes. That can often lead to instant, so just be composed. Realize the race isn't won in the opening corners, the ended one of the other joiners, so leave an extra bit of room or sacrifice some position if it means that you can survive. Be predictable until things have settled down and you can start to show the race around. Yeah, great to have you, Jazz Man. One thing that stood out from Slovakia was um, showing caution and there is being over cautious. It's a fine line yeah, that needs to show us if you're going to run just like half a second or so. I think it's going to be an amazing so yeah, night of racing. It's not easy. You just got to make sure you carry the position well. Like it's going to be all about like monitoring that tire wear, you know? And it's also plays as a reminder for us all just to expect the expected. Uh, just a word on a potential suspension record. The exit of turn 14. There's a nasty zone. If you run wide too early, that will cause you huge suspension damage if you get it wrong. I do not experience turn 14 yet, so... You really need to experience it for yourself so you can get a feel of where it is. <laughs> so that's something to consider on the exit curve. As ever, Stuart and team will review lap 1 on both races. If you're involved in an incident beyond lap 1, then... I'm excited. Really the fudge helps. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fair place to race. And anyone breaking the rules or racing... Is that turn 14 Sign here? This little keyhole bit. Is that turn 14? There's no outstanding penalties for tonight's race, so it's free to qualify the race as normal. Is there anybody yeah, here? Yeah, it's red and tires. Is anyone already been in for CC tragedy, especially race 2? Can't wait. <laughs> yeah, race 2 is going to be mad, dude. Okay, good. Um, Alright, Jen, so it's over to you. Remember, it's spec first, winning second out there. <laughs> Jamie, I'll just check uh, numbers and then I'll send you the password if there is indeed room. Okay, cheers guys, good luck. Good luck, good luck. Good luck. Cheers, si. good luck guys. Good luck. Cheers guys, good luck, see you later. Good luck. I'm already in the server mind, but oh. I've Right, let's, <laughs> let's get into uh Let's get ourselves into uh, back into the paradigm shift stuff, uh, race club. But I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna send Daniel O'Brien a little PM here. <laughs> I'm here, I'm here. It's the flat cap. They miss you, dude. I miss you. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. How's it going, man? All right, I suppose. All right, <laughs> that's good. Confident chat there. It's <laughs> good. I've, uh, I did a simulation, a race simulation of the first race, and I managed to get to the end, but man, my, uh, my tire wear was a little bit higher than practice the other day. It's like I fell asleep in the top. I know, I need to chill out. I go and do some practice now. It's the, that's the problem. It's this, it's the, I was going to say the problem was the strong legs, but yeah, that maybe that doesn't make so much sense. It's turning too much. That's all I do is turn. Yep. 
So let's go here. Let's do some practice. We've got about so eight minutes left. Sat, I set the fastest lap I've done, and it only put me into, into where? Twelve. Twelve's really good though, man. There's like um, thirty-two I'll be happy cars if here. I, if finish top fourteen, I'll be happy. All clear. Push now. You break some cold. Uh, no punctures yet, Black Cat. Cold. Watch out. Is turn 14 the one that's like the, that you were saying, the right and then the left hander? No, it's the, the corner after. Alright, just the right hander. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, concentrate! It's just oh. if you run that curb wide, you can go over the top of it. Incident in sector one. Sector one is yellow. Give <laughs> a minute or two. Come on, guys, eh? A little bit more belief, a little bit more faith. I got this. We got this. I've got to say, just a quick note that yesterday and today, albeit briefly, I was trying out the uh, the new ACC update as well, and sort of resorting out my force feedback and all that stuff. And man, jumping back into uh, race room, it just feels so much better. It's so much Sector better. One is clear. Uh, physics and force feedback wise, in my opinion. I still think ACC's got a long, well, maybe not a long way to go, but still got some work to put in. I know they're being pretty stubborn on how their first feedback is applied, but this race room, this new physics in FFB is just so nice. So this must be turn 14 here. So this is Zandvoort, we'll go for a lap around here. So start finish straight here, we've got the pit lane on my right hand side. Breaking just before the 100 meter board. As we go into our first banked, fast right hand hairpin. On the right, the curves as much as possible. Keeping as much speed before this little quick chicane again, banked. And then we go into this slowing down long slow exit as you go up and over the hill and we've got this roller coaster section of left right left right down up and down and up and over the crest breaking gently as we plummet downhill for the long okay jack plummeting right hander five minutes left and this quickly nip to the left hand side apply some brakes to try and get the widest line possible through there Try not to lock up as we go through probably the only flat corner in the track here to the right. Don't need to go too wide here to the right as we can get all the grip we need on the inside. See. Oh, three. massive three lock up there for me. So we got this little slow, probably the two slowest corners on the track. There through the ODSs your right front going before into this is turn 14. Seems fine to me, it must be on the exit that people are saying. And then we've got this long, just ever so slightly banked turn that we need to be ever so careful on not to scrub that front left tyre and preserve as much tread as possible. And that is a lap of Zandvoort. You're now 2.6 seconds off the leader's pace. You've just done a 48.4. Sector 3 is 1.2 off the pace. Just realizing I have my rear view mirror. On, I do now. ACC looks better, it certainly does, but I mean, it, yeah, as you mentioned, ACC is a much more modern game on a much more modern engine, running much more sophisticated graphical effects. Oh.
Green flag sector three. And sector one is 1.5 off the pace. Your left front's hot. Your brake temperatures look good. Two minutes until we start qualifying. So, just enough time for one more practice lap. Then we'll take a bunch of fuel out of the car. Fuel up for two, two three pace. laps. I need to just add. Two minutes to go. Two minutes. Sector three is 0.5. Just realised as well that I forgot. I need to be using this guy. Another paddles on the back of my wheel. There we go. <laughs> In fact, what I'm going to do now a white flag. is I'm just going to get the the fuel ready for Super Pole. So it was where are we at. What was it again? Two point eight. So three, four liters of fuel. For the Super Pole lap. There we go. <laughs> you ready, bud? As I'll ever be. <laughs> Thanks, man, and you. So a couple of really, some really fast guys in here. So 145.7, I mean, that's probably going to be pretty accurate for a qualifying time. Uh, yeah, I was kind of doing my race pace, so 148.3, that's going to be my race pace. Um, so uh, we'll see if I can hold that pace, I think, and um, not totally destroy the tires, then I think I'll be all right. Remember for your pit stop, pit stop preset as well for the second race, you only need to change your front tires, dude. Here we go, 10 seconds. We'll see, apparently in the update they finished as well when the cars were spawning onto the track for our Super Pole format, that they were going all, all over the place and um, the, the lap was being disallowed. So we'll see if that's been fixed. Here we go, folks. Super Pole qualifying, coming up. Let's go straight away. Oh. Looks good so far. Lap isn't invalid and And the car was all right. Cool, cool. Here we go. GG TPS. Thanks very much. Oh, lap will not count. Heads up, my first lap was invalid. So I'm going to go back out here. So we still haven't fixed that. The car's not spawning all crazy on the track like it used to. But uh, first lap still being invalidated. Ain't so good. Okay, this one is, does count. Just two minutes left, two minutes to go. Little lock up there. I think I'm going to qualify particularly far up the field tonight, guys, but uh, it's all good up here first, starting from the back. Not that I do it deliberately, but.
Oh, if my lamp is dying, You'll probably see me getting dimmer and dimmer and dimmer. So it might be quite a dark camera for tonight's race, folks, I'm afraid, because I need to charge those batteries. So a link to the live streamed broadcast with commentary from RRL. Link is in the chat. Here we go. Let's see what we can do here. Is it even going to be in the 47s? 47 47.2. Poltergeist. Yeah, my flickering. What's going on here? How's that? Is that too bright? Is it okay? Poltergeist. We'll see. It's probably going to get pretty uh, dark during the race. But we'll just have to do with what we can. Gonna put in that. Check a flag, 16th place. Thanks, man. Still wasn't very quick, but uh, cool. Yeah, we'll see if the if it holds up. Just the batteries are dying. I need to recharge the batteries. So where did it qualify then? I didn't even hear what he said. I wasn't really paying attention. Yeah, 31 liters. P16! I'll take that. That's about halfway. DB and P14. P14 and P16, man, not too bad. Not at all. Yeah, the grid is fast AF tonight. Did someone split us? Because we were. Yeah. Sat next to each other. Even Stoffmill being P7 during practice. Yeah, man. Yeah, there's a lot of fast boys in. Alright, here we go. Good luck. Okay, Jack. Nice and neat. Stay out of trouble. Floor it. Left side. So, gears are going to change automatically from just now as we're left. using the launch control. Car right. Still there. Right side's clear. Car right. Clear right. Jazz. Sector one is clear. Maybe another spinner on the bank, banked uh, plunging right hander. Car right. Right side's clear. Green 
like sector one. Left side, clear left. Car left, yellow flag in sector two. He's still there. Sector two is clear, he's still there. Okay, here we go. Whew, the, a turn first lap. Easy to get to trouble. Um, oof. Oof. See our wall ahead. for this corner if you ask me. To my teammate Daniel O'Brien, just a few places behind the P15. in his car Rick and P14 Nice rhythm so far. Need to check what sort of lap times I'm doing, but we are slowly pulling away from the guys behind. It looks like Tom's managed to get past Vastamil. And I managed to hang I'm managing to hang with these guys in front, so that's cool. It'd be really great if one of the top ten made a little mistake and dropped back, that would get me into the top ten and eligible for the reverse grid for the feature race after this one. Let's keep an eye on our tire wear at the minute as well. It's slowly creeping up, but I think we're all right for the time being. Sector one is yellow. The stream from our leaks is down. That's a shame. Well, just gonna have to stick around here, ladies and gentlemen. For your sector one is clear. Tattooed Scotsman onboard stream. What's this? Message from it, tell Jack I'm coming for him. <laughs> You 
you can uh, reply to him if you like. Tell him to eat my dust. Rick Bittersley, ladies and gentlemen. Uh oh. oh, I'm okay. We'll be streaming as well. Currently, three positions behind me, P14. <laughs> Amazing. That's a very cool set of Victor. It's all about that trash talk. Three streams open for that cap. <laughs> Amazing. The cap said Wyatt ahead is now 'm seem to keep up with my pace from the guys behind yeah it does seem I think last is maybe kicking his tires a bit or something I'm not sure he's got a little bit of a train going behind him you know, about two seconds to Tom behind me so let's see if we can keep it that way I need to start the tires are fine but I just need to be mindful I don't want to be left out, hung out to dry at the end of the race if I have no tread remaining. Alright Jack, that's half distance, you're looking good for fuel. gone into darkness the camera goes sorry about that guys I should have charged it before the race tonight let's see if I can do something about it for the future race but I doubt I will be able to that's just the way it is Should all organize to go to Zandvoort IRL and hook up and go for a track there or something, man. Very sweet. Fresh carry haircut for nothing with the fade out. <laughs> Still managed to hang on to this P11. Pretty happy about it. 
Guys up front are edging away ever so slightly. Not because I think they're picking up the pace, because I feel like I'm making lots of little mistakes just now. Computer out here. Awesome. That would be amazing, man. Those cars are absolute demons. If I'm some, some, something says about Jack's haircut, my heart breaks. What? <laughs> oh, Victor. You gotta get your ass over here, man, so you can hook me up. I know you'd look after me, man. <laughs> What's this? The circuit is so technical that... The <laughs> So it's so technical that Jack can't catch up with the stream. Yes, that's correct. That is correct. It's very difficult. There's not many opportunities for me to glance over at chat without completely throwing away the race. Ooh. It's all right. I'll be fine. I'm fine. I'm well practiced. And the more I read and race at the same time around more complex tracks, then the more the better I'll get, the less chance of me crashing in the future. And I totally don't mind about throwing these races away, man. I race for fun. And in front wheel drive cars as well, I'm certainly not competitive, so... It really, really bother me. But I know what you're saying, guys. I'll do it for you. I'll concentrate. Six minutes left on the clock. Probably three more laps, maybe four. Tom is catching, slowly. I think he's made up about two tenths over the past five laps, maybe six laps. A little lock up there for me, that's never good for the tires. And Tom's car is really fast along that start and finish straight. Sector one. You'd rather crash that, dude. Remember the 911 Cup car five championship? Five I think it was this. Green one. It was the first of the second round. Remember how fast I crashed? And I wasn't reading chat then. I just had a really horrendous accident. Broke the car. Engine was toast. Couldn't continue right at the beginning of the race as well. That was a brutal crash. None of these cars go fast enough for me to have a crash like that. Again. Big Binner's up to P13. And lastly dropping back to P14. My teammate Daniel O'Brien currently in P16. Tom Grahonen catching right up now. There. 
wet sand, grass and dirt on the left hand side tires, but we'll keep it going. So the blue Lincoln Cool. Hot on my tail now. Sector one is clear. We think that the Yonk has gone off in thousand bombs. Okay, Jack. Hold your nerve, just keep it smooth. No mistakes. Got somebody out here with a puncture by the looks of things. Two or is that back marker? It's a back marker, unfortunately. Flag, Could have got ourselves into the top ten there. Two laps to go. Don't know if my front left is going to make it, to be honest. Definitely not three, there's only one and a half minute left. So a lot could change here depending on everybody's tire wear. And this all these last moments of the race. Including for me. So we're going to find out exactly what these uh, new puncture physics are all about. One more lap, and it's going to be tight because I only have 6% tire tread remaining, and I'm using about 7 point something at the minute. Yellow flag. Defending Come against on. Tom here. Left side, green flag, you're clear. Hold your line. Hold your line. Still there. Still there. Incident in sector one. Sector one is yellow. Clear left. Come on, Jack. Don't let him get away. We can see Lucas has stepped in. That's blocked. So, unable to defend against Tom there. Excellent pass. Green flag sector one. Yeah, Rick Binnersley behind me now. 3% tire tread remaining. Will I get to the end or not? Place your bets now, ladies and gentlemen. Open tires. Yep, 1% tread remaining for me. Rick 
Brenner's really catching up. My teammate Daniel O'Brien up to P15. 0% tread for me. Gently does it around here. Sector 3 is clear. Here comes Rick. Go. Be careful, don't pop this tire here. I think we've done enough. Oh, that feels dodgy. Get up, you wreck! <laughs> Look, the cars aren't crashing into each other at the end as well. Oh, a little bit argy bargy at the back there, but pretty good. P12, so just outside of the top 10. How'd you go on, man? That's not bad, dude. That's not bad. That door for the second half of the race just fucking breathing down my neck. Yeah, yeah, he's uh, he won't push it though. He's uh, he won't take the chance to pass unless he can do it safely. Yeah, I had to defend like my life depended on. How much tire wear did you have left? How much tread did you have left at the end of the race? Two percent. I had zero for half the lap. Terrifying. It, it was damn terrifying, dude. So, need to be much, much better on the tires for uh, for the second race. So mind him, my, uh, you've got 50 seconds. Okay, so I need 59 odd liters. Just gonna put in a couple of extra to make sure. So 61 liters for me. He's gonna be changing the front tires in the pit stop. All right, so here we go. First race complete. Uh, on the remote P27. That's a shame. That is a shame. There was a damn warm -up. Thanks, Victor. Thanks for ja Thanks, Jazz. There is not a warm-up. I didn't put my fucking setup on. Go back. Quickly go back. Escape. You've got 10 seconds. Just change fuel to 65 or something. Quick. Five seconds. Four. Three. Two. One. You make it. Yeah, you Just did. Yeah, you did, boy. Good luck. You too, mate. <laughs> Here we go. Floor it. Green, green, green. Car right. So starting at P12 this time. Caution line. Right side's going to be much less aggressive this race. Car right. Hold your line. You're on the left. Three wide. Still there. Clear right. Hard tap before the green lights. Yep. So here we go, second race. It's going to be about 27 laps. The first race was 13 laps. for this race uh, to keep it to under 7.1% tire wear. If you think I'm holding you up, just say I'll let you pass, okay?
team paradigm shift. 12 and 13 in the minute. Tom Honem and Mark and Magnus Smedegard here. Both in the blue Lincoln Co cars. Seem to be having a bit of a slow moment there. P1 with two second leads. Awesome. So did he, where did Nitsch finish, finish in the first race? Did he get involved in that reverse grid? He must have, right? Still over 40 minutes remaining in this race. This is going to be very tough. Got a feeling I probably need to start being even easier on the right-hand corners. Good corner for my tire wear. Front left's running pretty hot at the minute. You can see two stoppers and people keep pushing. Yeah, yeah, dude. I think a lot of people are deliberately going for two stoppers just so they don't have to. Oh, that was late. That was, that was very late. And that's first gear. That's the wrong gear. Oh, a little lock up there and everything. That was disgusting. Oh my god, I just had a little glance in the rearview mirror there. And there's a gaggle yellow flag. of cars behind me. We've got a yellow flag here as well. Is it in front or behind? Green flag. And it's been, the car's been rescued. Whoever it was. That was not a good lap for my tires. Greg! Greg was up ahead. I think he was running around about P6 or so. Correct me if I'm wrong, chat. But I think he was running pretty high up in the rankings there. So Clive managed to pass my teammate behind us now. So, although there is another Honda Civic behind, it is not my teammate, Daniel O'Brien. Well, Daniel O'Brien actually dropped back. Uh, down to P14. Ricky Bobby Binnersley has also managed to pass. On your right. 
still there. Hold your line, clear right. Uh, side by side there with Clive. And yeah, I think Jack is running relatively low camera in two. I am. As low as it goes. <laughs> True flat cap, you speak the truth. Oh, look at this massive gaggle of cars in front of us. It is all to play for still here in the second race, ladies and gentlemen, both front and behind. We've got cars everywhere. Good Somebody's line. pitting already. Tenth position. Clear left, car left, clear left. I've locked up there. Just bumped into the back of me. The car's okay though. Hope he's alright. He's managed to he has conceded the place to Rick Binnersley, so. Binnersley now. Emma Review Minner. And Nidge extending his lead. I'm not going to be defending particularly hard against anyone in this race. I'm not going to just give them the position, but... How's your tire wear, homie? said there. I have a feeling it, he said, I'm not going to do it. Or not looking good. Needs to start making it look good because Hyundai getting the run on me here again. Left side, car left. He's still there. He's going around the outside. He's still there. Still there. He's still there. Clear left. On your left. Still there. Clear left. <laughs> that was side by side action with Rick Bittersley. Clive Brett get involved as well. I hope you're enjoying this, folks. I'm having a bloody good time. If you are enjoying it, you know what to do. Do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button, give the video a like, that'd be much appreciated. Thank you. If someone's watching a uh, Rick stream, can you please tell them that uh, I'll be uh, in contact with his insurance company to uh, sort my rear bumper out at his expense. So we've got another DNF, Cal Morgan, that bumps us up to P10. here for this tire wear. I'm doing well though I am keeping it where I need it to be. But it is slowly creeping up.
Oh, he's making a move here. Go, he's not. He's backed out. Clear right. Clear right. Oh, he's gone way wide. He's gone way wide. Clive Britton and Jankor are having a good look at him now as well. Clive Britton's already passed. He felt the wrath. Rick felt the wrath of my defensive maneuvers. And it's cost him dearly, ladies and gentlemen. He's fallen back to P13. That was good racing, Rick, man. I enjoyed that, dude. But that wasn't the time. That wasn't the time. <laughs> I can go up in front or going at it, man. He has some suspension damage as well. That wasn't from the incident though, was it? It's just he has some suspension damage. Oh, I was slow through there. I was very slow through there. here. Left the door open for Clive. Right. See if I can hang on around the outside. Just managed to hang on to that. Somebody in the pits already. That should be a two-stopper. Big old train behind me. Uh oh, we're good. We're good. Now, Tiago's got himself a drive through. It must have been him in the pits because it looks as though. He has a sped in the pits. Janko now taking on Clive behind us. Clive get past the back past Janko. Excellent racing going on here. Elbows out, fully extended WTCR action, folks. As I wrote in the description for this championship. This is not for the faint-hearted. This is not a championship to be making friends. Not to be making enemies either, but... The nature of these cars are super close. Racing.
sorry, I'm not managing to read as much chat as I'd like to. You guys are being suspiciously quiet. Sector 2 is yellow. Well, thanks for that. But yeah, lots of action going on here. Was crashed in, turn 9, P10. Green flag, Sector 2. Daniel O'Brien, my teammate, five positions behind me in P15. This is going to be even more interesting at the end of the race than the first race. Let's see who manages to actually make it to the end. Who's going to be doing a one stop? Who's going to be doing a two stop? <laughs> Clive's got a good run on me here. Oh, I've locked up again. All right. Line. Clear right. No. Jazz is eating yum yum. So much tension. That's what it is. Callum, how's it going, dude? I'm looking for the DNF, man. You're doing alright, weren't you, in uh, the second race? I'm not sure. Quite hard to keep track of exactly what's going on around here. Greg! I'm lucky for you as well, dude. I saw that you also DNF'd. Come on, Jack. You're better than 10th. I don't know. And WTCR, I'll take 10th quite happily and celebrate about it. <laughs> I'm not very good in front-wheel drive cars. Uh, and these are some goddamn challenging front-wheel drive cars to drive. But thanks for the encouragement. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do the best I can for you, dude. I'm going to do it. How many more laps until you pit in DB? Okay, Jack. There's a car right in the pit. Heads up. There's a white flag. On your right. Clear right. Got slow, slow, slow moving car here in the DHL livery. I should pit on this lap or if I should pit on the next lap. A little bit eight percent remaining. This lap. Guess now that I've hit traffic as well. I'm pitting this lap, dude. Happy this is race two, dude. Welcome to the stream. I have no idea where my box is, and I haven't really practiced. Actually, I haven't practiced at all the pit entry. 5% tread remaining. I'm tempted to stay out, you know? I'm not gonna, I'm gonna go in, but I need to be extra conservative on. White flag, mate. There's a car rejoining. Clear left. Everybody's okay, pitting now. Oh, it's gonna be busy as in here. Where's the pit box at? Where's the pit box at? Here it is. Good pit stop, please. Let's go. Everybody pitting now. I think we all pit one lap too early, you know. One hundred meters. Fifty meters. There's traffic 
behind. Keep your wits about you. Car left. Clear left. Left side. Clear left. And then Miguel Abrillo there. Managing to sneak through. Is Clive still behind us or is he in front? I was fine. I, would have, I reckon I would have made another lap. The problem is now I'm going to definitely risk getting a puncture at the end of this stint. Clouds behind me. 1.6 seconds. So I made a better pit stop than him, but... Yeah, I've not tried the new Audi TT physics. Since the update, this is literally the first time I've jumped on to do a proper race. And the only car I've driven since the update has been this Honda Civic WTCR. So. He's entering the pits. He's in P2. We think he'll come out just in front yeah, of you. you think it's going to be less laps on this stint? I hope so. So I I believe I pitted from P10. So after the first round of pit stops, I'm hoping to be at least P10. I think my pit stop was all right. Not the best in the world, but it was okay. Lots of people getting drive throughs though, that's good for me, not good for them. Well, we're straight away back into that fight with Clive. So 20 minutes remaining, folks. In this second race of the evening. Daniel O'Brien managed to make up several positions over these pit stops. Currently running a P13, so good stuff from Daniel. Looks like he's got a little gaggle of cars behind him, but the main thing is that he's in front. Always harder to pass from behind, regardless of having the, pit, the slipstream. And you're probably going to use a little bit more of your tires up as well as you're attacking. But keep it together. 19 minutes to go. Thanks, Jazz. Thanks for the words of encouragement. Oh, it's a little bit wide there. Kai's going to have the run on me here. Making a move up the inside, Still it's gone there. tight. Still there. Still there. Still there. He's Still made that there. move. He's made it stick. Right side's clear. And Vlasti's also got past Daniel. It's 
inevitable. Kaiv is just a better from your drive, a WTCR driver than I am. Great battle in Clive, man. Really enjoyed that. That was awesome, dude. But now... I have to try and not let it get too far away from me, and then to try and keep in front of Lastic. What's going on, mate? Come on, get your act together. B12. Jesus, shut up, Jim. <laughs> Do you have to pit, or can you stay out? Teammate, suspension damage and has to pit. <laughs> if one of you guys could take care of Jim for me, that would be ideal. I've had enough of him. Yellow flag in sector one. behind to worry about as well. Mind you, behind Vlastic, 10 seconds to the guy behind, so that's pretty good. Even if Vlastic will manages to catch up to us and pass us, that leaves us in good stead at least to stick behind him, hopefully, and just play out the strategy game because as it stands, I think I'm still burning a little bit too much of that front left, about 0.3%. Daniel, my teammate, currently in the pits, getting his suspension damage fixed. Could do with taking as many points as I can. Velasa there, nearly colliding with me into turn one. And Davidura DNF. in P3. It's pretty good. He was running P1 for the first half of the race, so don't know what's quite happened. Maybe he changed all four tires in the pits rather than just the front set. Do remember that we had a lot of people pitting super early. On your right. Hold your line. Those people, unless they are really nursing Still their there. tires. They are right. They are not going to make it to the end on this stint on those set of tyres. I think Vlasti is going for two stops. Maybe. If he is, then he's not in a good position because I'm on a one stop and holding him up. Really get past me along here. I think he just oversteered there a little bit too much. Of that accelerator pedal, I sent him wide and onto the grass, but must be running exceedingly low wing or some or so because. He's just able to instantaneously catch right back up.
Rickson just in his camera mid race. Why, what's happened? Is it fallen down? The heat of the battle from earlier has melted the mount. He looks fucked now. <laughs> is he really is he sweating? Tell him to go and make himself a slushy. I think Blasi's gonna have a dive up the inside here, I think. Car right. Still there. Right side's clear. Caused the crash. Oh shit. And he's crashed. Oh no. Ricky boy, not enough slushy in your life, pal. Rick Benis is crazy about slushies in case anyone's wondering. He loves them. Tom Carhonen up in P6. Good stuff, man. He's rapid. The gentlemen were battling with in the bright blue, bright blue Link and Co. in the first race. Blastomil behind, dropping way back. Or maybe it's just a little lag issue or something. It looked as though he was letting off the gas. Might just be a little bit of a network lag going on here. Okay, Jack, there's a car exit in the pits. Heads up. Right side, clear right. He made it even worse. Ten minutes to go. This is well like defending, eh, folks? All the attacking happened in the first five, ten minutes. In both the first race and the second race. And then defense for the remainder. And I love it. Love defending. Just a shame that you have to look in the rearview mirror to actually see the action. Hopefully you guys can see that though. So I don't know if uh, the last behind is going for a two stopper because I reckon he would have stopped by now. Eh? he's doing is he's just conserving his tires so when it gets closer to the end of the race and he knows that I'm struggling he'll be able to make more of a formidable attack now he's pretty close here so he's probably gonna try and make it happen here car left car left still there still there Still there, clear left. He's through. This car behind me now is a back marker. So I'm not have to defend against them. They should not attack me though, because I shouldn't have to worry about this car behind me. Despite them probably being on fresh tires faster than me and more consistent than me. Unfortunately for them, they've just got themselves in the situation where they are under blue flags and a back marker, so unless they can make the pass without affecting my 
racing line and pull away safely. He will have to just sit there. Yeah, he could unlap himself, but he's got to do it in a way that doesn't hinder me whatsoever. I am a lap of head, and so is Vlastamil. He's got the grip here to go past, then he can. B13, car right, on your right. Hold your line. It's still there. Clear right. seconds ahead of Colin in P14 behind me. That wasn't a bad move from, uh, who is it? Elio. Elio. It wasn't bad. He did compromise my apex, but I saw he was there in plenty of time, so it wasn't like I wasn't aware that he was going to be making the maneuver, so. He had the grip and the overspeed coming out of the last corner, so that was probably the best place to do it on this track. So, I deem it acceptable. Alright Jack, five minutes to go, five minutes left. You've got some minor suspension damage there. What? Ten minutes of fuel remaining. So plenty of fuel here. Let's hope I can make the tires last till the end of the race. Jim. B. S. Jim. I'm surprised he can speak with that thing in his mouth anyway. How's he doing that? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> well, for, I didn't see what he was doing because I was too busy brown noting is he attacking attack back <laughs> thanks Greg oofed yeah man I got it just gonna unwind now. The captain, Lucas, ahead is now 4.3. Everybody's all right. Everybody's okay. Thanks for checking up, flat cap. And I'm unwinding now. Cooling down. Got 11 seconds to the car behind me. 19% uh, tread remaining, so probably good for another three laps if need be. But I don't think we're gonna have three more laps. I think we'll have two more laps. So. I think this is probably going to be the penultimate lap. Code Brown! We got a Code Brown. Now, uh, Code Brown avoided, thankfully. Yellow 
flag sector one. Green flag sector one, incident in sector two, sector two is yellow. We think that Spinnersley has gone off in turn nine, green flag sector two. That's two minutes left, two minutes. Slushy Bobby, Ricky Binnersley, loads of damage. Oof, damn. Wreck man. That's sad news to hear. You should have just stuck with me, man. Yellow flag sector two. How can I race, read comments, and talk? Sector two is uh, clear. I guess it's part. Is it got anything to do with Ambidex Rarity? I don't know. I'm a drummer. I've been a drummer all my life, so I'm used to using all four limbs completely independent of each other. So maybe it's got something to do with that. But just because I'm doing those three things at once doesn't mean I'm doing either one of them particularly well. <laughs> but it gets easier the more I do it. And it's a ton of fun. He's pitting from P24. We think he'll come out just behind you. Alright, 49 seconds remaining on the clock. 13th place. One more lap to go. So Jim says there's one more lap to go, but. Jim has been wrong in the past. I'm gonna take my time. I'm fine for fuel. Just need to watch that front left tire. Not all the tread in the world left on it, so just all my right hand turns just gonna be proper nursing the car. I've still got almost a nine second gap to the car behind, so... I'm not in a rush here. Nice leisurely drive here. Where's O'Brien? B25, a lap behind. So my teammate had to fix that suspension damage. He'll probably be racing with Rick Binnersley. Towards the checkered flag, so... No, this is the last lap. The checkered flag is out. I can, I can take that damn thing out of Jim's mouth. He spoke the truth. Grand my lap for the crowd. How's it going, everyone? Thanks for coming out. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, Jesus Christ. How's it going? Thanks for coming. This is my brother there. Smoking a doobie. Getting up to no good. Oh, Antonio Armiento here! Ah, oh, he's gonna beat me. Uh, Army the enter there was the limping, team. that's for sure. Thanks, Victor. Oh, Army Ento popped the tire at the end there. I didn't, I mean, there was no way I could have pushed and not risked, risked popping a tire of my own, so. But Antonio needs to be quiet and stop ch typing in the chat because, uh, That is not acceptable. <laughs> uh, thanks, Victor. Thank you, Flat Cap. Much appreciated, dudes. Antonio. Psh, shut up, dude. Thanks, Jazz. Yeah, man. And there we go. Pretty happy with those results, to be honest. It would have been wicked. If I'd got in the top 10 in the first race. What's going on? Yeah, it would have been... Uh... Oh, Jesus, that's a bit bright. Would have been wicked if I'd managed to get into the top 10. Uh, so we could have got to the... Uh... Got involved in that reverse grid for the second race, but hey. That's the way it is. Thanks, Anna. Much appreciated. Thank you. Um, 
Really enjoyable races, though. Really, really enjoyable races. Gotta say, I did like that. Let's uh, let's hear from uh, let's hear from Daniel O'Brien, and let's uh, let's get some chat from uh, the rest of the Paradigm Shift and some of the other R League's crew if they do want to join us. Commiserations, dude. Unlucky for that uh, for the uh, suspension damage. What happened, man? Where did you get the damage? T14. No, really. Yeah, uh, door was pushing me, man, and I was trying to defend. Um, did uh, did it for four or five laps consecutively, and then ran that curb wide, and that was it. I nearly put the wipe up. I don't know if you uh, if you noticed or you heard, but Rick had like a massive incident. Um, I see it. Yeah, and he had to pit as well. And uh, I thought you might be racing up at the end there um, of that, I was uh, of that race. He, I don't think he pit. No, he definitely put it at the end. Did he? He was very slow at the, on the last lap because I was 17 seconds down and by the end of the race, I caught Trash. him by... So I think I was like five seconds. He definitely... Well, I said he was going into the pit. Uh, my crew chief, uh, Jim, said he was going into the pit. But um, yeah, not uh, not sure if he actually went in or not. So not sure. Uh, unfortunately, um, should we jump into the? Is anyone in the paradigm shift chat? Let's have a look in there. Let's jump in there. Hello, folks. How's it going? Hey, buddy. Ricky Bobby, the slushy master. Oh man, you had a uh, you had a bit of a mare in that second race, didn't you? I didn't have a mare. No. The computer, the game had a mare. Do tell, do tell, please, please enlighten us. Oh, I come out of the pit. <laughs> For some reason, I was four seconds behind you. We Rick Binsley, ladies and gentlemen. Then it's kicking off in the RL chat. Oh, I think it, we'd done like a lap, maybe two laps, and then all of a sudden, me view, me view just changed, and it was like I was sat in the back seat of the car. No, none of me, none of me buttons would work on my wheel. I could only do pit limiter and um, something else. Um, I couldn't do any anything else with my wheel. And then I was messing up with the keyboard trying to get the view to come back. <laughs> <laughs> and the view was going up. It was going down. It was going diagonal. I had it going 360 ah, degrees round in a circle. It was fucking bananas. Well, it sounds bananas, man. That sucks, dude. Oh, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm flat cap telling me to rewatch your stream. I'm gonna watch your stream later. He said. Yeah. It was funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I it was like something, like a Lauren and Hardy film, mate. I tell you, something like that. I don't even know how you could drive like that. <laughs> I was just thought, right, man. I'm just trying to get as many points as I can. Yeah. Well, that's it, isn't it? I mean, there was all people all over the shop at the end, man, of both races, the first and the second race. So. Well done, Nidge, on P4, mate. You got P4, Nidge? Cheers, mate. Yes, dude, yeah, well P4. done. What, would you, did you manage to get into the top 10 in the, in the first race and use the reverse grid? Yeah, I got 9th in first. Nice. Man, that's good points for you, man, this round. 9th and 4th. I was in first for half an hour. I know, well, I, I noticed I that. I went into pit, they were just catching me then, and I just couldn't fight them off. I went off the line with 0% on the front left. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was me in the first race as well. Zero percent for half of the, the last lap. Hey guys. Oh, back in a minute. Hello. Hey Tiago, Tom, how's it going, guys? Uh, yeah, very well. Great yeah, it was really good fun, man. Well done, well played. You uh, yeah, you. you managed to uh, yeah totally get the run on me. So good good racer, man. Enjoyed it. It was really yeah, really cool. And uh, unlucky Tiago, um, you said yeah you were behind me in race one. And the 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 back snapped away oh, from you. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Oh man. Good racing though, man. That was um, that was a, it was difficult, eh? It was like these cars in that track, I think, are really well suited, but like definitely not for the faint of heart. Like so much door-to-door -door racing for the whole race, just like attacking, defending, attacking, defending, managing the tires and all the time, all the time, all the time. Yeah, man, it was intense. I loved it, man. I loved every minute of it. What about you? 
What happened to you, Greg? I didn't notice you DNF'd in the second race. What happened? How'd you get on in the first race? Oh, I can't remember, you know. I think I came fourth or fifth. Nice, that's good. In the second race, right, my stream went down with a white screen and then it just bombed out the game altogether. Oh, as soon damn. as that bombed Clive. out, I bombed out straight Amazing after. racing, dude. Loved it. Thank you, man. You too, dude. I think it was a connection problem. I hope they have broke the game again with the update. Yeah, hopefully not. And no problem at all, Clive. It's all good, man. It's all in the racing. Well, I'll need to check out every single one of your streams, dudes, because it seems like they're pretty action-packed with good racing and, uh, and some unfortunate things happening as well so apparently i've not had a look myself but apparently it's getting quite juicy in the rrl uh, discord right now so i'm gonna go and take a wee gander over there have a little a read and see what's going on um ge gentlemen it was a pleasure racing with you all i hope you have yeah, a lovely perfect. evening and i'll catch up with you very soon bye bye man <laughs> cheers guys so there we go folks um round three of eight rounds in the WTCR Championship. Done! It was so fun as fuck, dude. It was amazing, man. It was totally amazing. Um, yeah, it was epic, man. <laughs> it was epic. It was well-deserved pass as well, man. It was totally awesome. Really sweet pass. I think that was definitely the the, the best pass on me for the, for the whole race, man. Well-deserved, honestly. Super good racing. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, and with that goes out to everyone I raced with as well tonight, man. It was like, it was a few touchy moments, but like, didn't seem like anyone was like racing out of line or doing things they shouldn't have done and you know being super dirty and whatnot so yeah congrats to everyone thanks to everyone for uh, for racing tonight i had a super good time and uh, you know as always thanks to team rr leagues the crew who are organizing promoting and hosting and getting everyone involved in all this stuff man um you know without these guys we'd have to organize our own events which we could do but those guys just do it so well we'll just join with up with those guys and you know if any of you guys watching if you don't race and you are thinking about getting into sim racing join a community join a community join rr leagues join other communities there are plenty out there get yourself involved because like online public lobbies they can be all right from time to time if you get yourself into like a competitive lobby or like a ranked lobby or something like that they're significantly better but there's still absolutely nothing like joining a community getting to know the people you're racing around having a chat with people sharing setups everybody's out to help each other and kill each other at the same time no that's a, that's a joke uh to form friendly rivalries and it's just the best man get yourself involved in the community so yeah uh, check out our leagues, ladies and gentlemen, for all race room related uh, community goodness. Um, there are a bunch more to check out as well, but rrleagues.com um, for uh, for tonight. The guys we were racing with. The next stream from me will be on Sunday for round three of the GT3 Masters. That's part two in French. Um, so yeah, come along for that. I'm going to be driving in the AMG. Uh, GT3, which in this latest patch just had 15 kilograms added to it, um, which I think is, which I think is fair. It was, um, I wouldn't say dominant, but it was a little bit just, just it just had the edge on most of the other cars as well. Um, but also the Porsche, the new Porsche GT3 car has had, what was it, 20 kilos added? So yeah, 20 kilos added uh, to the Porsche, which was, that was like the same again. Um, just like a cut above the AMG, so that should bring it back in line. So all of the GT3 should be a little bit better uh, balance of performance, and that should be a little bit more even. Um, so that should be super cool. And uh, let me just double check. I'm pretty sure we're racing around Monza. Do -do 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 -do. We are. So Sunday the 9th of February 2020. Practice starts at 6.30 GMT. Qualifying is at 19.30, so 7.30 p.m. Um, the race starts at uh, 10 to 8, and I believe it's a one and a half hour race, a 90 minute race around Monza in Italy. Should be super good fun. Gonna set up the car. Gonna be a great race. Tune in then. Um, I'll be streaming from about 7 p.m., about half an hour before qualifying begins on Sunday. That'll be the next one from me. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. Much appreciated, everyone in chat. Wonderful to have you all. Sorry it was quite difficult to read, but pff, them's a the breaks. Them's a bricks. I'm gonna go put my batteries on charge, pour myself a whiskey, and uh, put my feet up. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for joining in. Peace. Bye.